Hey everybody, this is the Vapologist here doing a review of the PAX Portable Vape for VaporizersReview.com. The quest for the perfect portable vape has seen so many contenders. Some, if not most, approach the problem from very similar directions and viewpoints. But Plume, the makers of the PAX, wiped the slate clean when they designed and created this thing. This vape is like no other. No vape has this much technology, and while that could be a bad thing, Plume pulled it off in a way that allows the technology to get out of your way completely. This conduction vape isn't perfect, but it's pretty damn good. Plume went all out on the packaging. The unit comes with a stand and a charger, a cleaning kit, and of course the manual. The cleaning kit is a bit of a bad omen though, I think. Okay, we're going to run through a quick overview of its use, and then we'll take a look at what all these lights mean. Of course, plug in and charge the vape on the included stand. You can see the contact points are in the end of the vape with the mouthpiece and just stand it right on that. There's no other way to charge this vape, unfortunately. I really do wish that it was USB charging just for the universality of it, if that's even a word. But I'm sure they had to make some tough decisions to keep the design of this thing so clean. When it's fully charged, open the bottom magnetic cap and load with your herbs. Today we've got some Buddha's blend here. I just can't seem to get enough of this lately. It's good to pack the oven, as they call it, pretty snugly per their instructions. They recommend using the lid to pack it, but I definitely found that was messy, so I used my finger. When full, pop the lid back on, and then press the recessed mouthpiece until it pops up. The light turns on, is white, and then fades to purple. This pulsates until you have a full heat and turns green, and green means go. It's important to draw from the packs almost like a cigar, sort of a mouthful at a time. With a fresh load, the taste was amazing, but towards the end, it really started to taste plasticky. I can't nail it down exactly, but I definitely didn't like it. The vape seems to be efficient, as it took me many draws until I felt the load was coming close to being fully baked maybe six to eight good draws. When you're done you just open the door and dump out the contents. When I first got the packs my loads were coming out a little bit over baked so I think this is a good opportunity to segue into some of the other features of this unit. If you remove the mouthpiece you'll see a white light in the chamber. This is actually a button and pressing this will allow you to change the heat setting up or down. The light on the front is going to change color to reflect this, yellow for low, orange for medium, and of course red for high. If you want to check how much battery power is remaining, just turn the unit on and then shake it. And it should reveal with flashing lights exactly how much power is left. Red for low, yellow for medium, and green for full. If you forget to turn it off, the PAX is going to go into a low power mode shown by this blue light and eventually it will turn off. Rolling it like so starts party mode and that also is going to last until you turn it off. There were a couple things I didn't like about the packs. I really wish that it would be easier to stir but with the way they have it set up it's very difficult. It makes a mess and you'd have to reload it every time. It just wasn't baking evenly, so that'd be a nice feature. I wish they also didn't spend so much on packaging and had included instead some sort of travel or protective bag for this thing. It's anodized aluminum and it's very smooth, and when I took it out of the package, the first thing I did was drop it. This is totally my fault. I wasn't holding on to it tight enough, but it's smooth, and I think that putting some sort of nub or grip or something like that on it would be great. You can't pull very hard with this thing. You have to drink it like you're drinking a shake through a straw. Once you master that though, it's something you get used to and it's definitely manageable. You just have to go really slow and really low and be patient. It has plastic internals and the air has obviously got to be running over the electronics and it seems like you can taste this towards the ends of the load. Okay, overall, there's a lot to like about this vape. It's a pretty small unit. It fits in your hand very well. It feels just like an oversized Bic lighter. 
You can preload it and turn it on in your pocket. Wait for it to warm up, then pull it out and take a draw, turn it back off, and put it back in your pocket all with one hand. This thing tastes really great at the beginning of the load, just not so much at the end. The battery lasts for a long time. It's definitely well designed. The 10 year warranty is great. It took a really big hit and is still hitting like a champ. The cost is a bit high, but if you can swing it and you need something portable, the PAX is a great choice. Of all the portable vapes, this is the best one I've tried yet. You can find out more about the PAX and other vaporizers at vaporizersreview.com.